Good evening, Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. As we'd mentioned earlier, there were a couple of different topics we were looking at uh, the, the, going into this evening. Of course, uh, one was the Indonesian volcano that erupted, forcing residents to flee. And uh, that was a very, very powerful volcano. Here's a video footage of it there offshore there. Uh, there were uh, people running for their lives when this thing went off. And I, I'm not sure. I know that there was another major solar uh, eruption that took place on the sun uh, today. I don't know if that was affected by it. I've already been seeing the increased earthquake activity, 5.5, 5.6, all over uh, the world, including Indonesia, places like that. Uh, but going back to this issue with Iran, this uh, the, the, the assassination of their scientists has definitely heightened the tensions between uh, Iran and Israel, specifically because Iran is blaming Israel for this attack. And uh, so this is a very serious situation that's happening there. And the um, I, I've also been able to get uh, information from a good friend of ours, uh, connected with the intelligence community in Israel uh, that has confirmed that Israel is bracing for a war with Iran. Uh, there are certain issues that are going on there, and there is belief that uh, areas north of Tel Aviv, uh, all the way up to Haifa, would be that target. And Iran has actually stated uh, that in, in their in their newspaper, there uh, an independent uh, or excuse me a, a, a editorial that was published that Haifa should be targeted, and I'm sure they would if if Haifa was targeted, it would be in in response to um, the fact that this is Israel's hub center where China has also built the port there. But I, I kind of question that, though, because of the fact of the relationship between Iran and China. I don't think that China would take very kindly to Iran targeting Haifa. Uh, so if anything, yes, probably just north of Tel Aviv, where Shin Bet and Mossad headquarters are located at, I could see where that would be uh, certainly a possibility. Uh, moving on, though, to some other things there. Uh, Charles had sent me, a good friend of mine on Twitter, had sent me this particular video here of a fireball, excuse me, actually not that one, but it was this one. Here we go. Uh, bright as a full moon, fireball spotted in the night sky over Japan. As a result, I decided to look at some of the latest uh, asteroids that are turning into meteorites. Well, they, they don't turn into it. It's just when they enter atmosphere, they're then called a meteorite rather than an asteroid. Uh, and this one, though, over Japan, just like they say, it was like a full moon. I'm going to share with you some of these video clips there. And because a lot of people ask, where are all these uh, asteroids at? Well, they're definitely starting to come in now and very frequently because I just did a little bit of research and was amazed at the number of video captures that have come out here just in the last few days. Look at this one right here. That's over Japan. We're going to show a different one. That thing there, talking about bright, my gosh, almost more like the sun than the, than the moon. Uh, That appears to be different cameras, but the same asteroid there uh, that comes in. Uh, but it is it is definitely huge and uh, very, very large, no doubt, on that one there. Be curious what the impact was like. I'm sure most of it burnt up anyway. Uh, then I looked and I saw also over Germany uh, and most probably asteroid fragment. The seven-second night sky glows was like an asteroid fragment entering into the atmosphere. And uh, so let's take a look at this one here. This one's not as big though, but you will see there, they're showing it already coming up under the camera there. And they caught that one there. 
Uh, but some of these others, though, like I said, they do have more size to them. Meteor explosion was seen in the south of Brazil at dawn this, this Monday. We'll take a look at this one here. There again, that one there had also some very good size to it. And then we have um, this one here. This one, though, let me, there we go. You can see that one there. That one was at, uh, that one was in uh, lighting up the sky in uh, Porte de la Prairie, Manitoba is where that one was at. And of course, this one I shared with you the other day, this was from the Industrial Research Organization uh, when they captured theirs over the sea there uh, in uh, Tas over the Tasman Sea. And we have this one here in Prague. I actually have one in Prague that also uh, was picked up. Early morning uh, asteroid coming in and entering into the atmosphere. And there again, that one there is very big as well. So the frequency is definitely increasing. This is over Brazil. And again, just recently, November the 24th was for this one here. And then we have... Uh, well, that was actually it right there. Anyway, I'm Steve Benu. You're watching Israeli News Live. Talk to you guys tomorrow. We actually did a broadcast tonight, earlier tonight. Uh, we'll be airing on Hebrew Nation Radio, Flashpoint with Bonnie Harvey. I think many of you will find that hour-long message very, very insightful. Uh, maybe I can get Bonnie to send me a link on it, and I could upload that for you as well. I'll uh, do that tomorrow if I can, and I'll send Bonnie a message to see if we can get a copy of that file. Blessings to you. I'm Stephen Benin with Israel.